On this episode of The Fan Base, we talk all about the powerful organization that has the career of football players in their hands. You guessed it, TMZ. <laughs> Run it. Welcome back to your favorite bar, the TFB Sports Bar. I am your host, D'Olive, and by my side is my sidekick, Leo the Lion. I need to return my mozzarella sticks because they were made with some black cheese from Japan. So what are you saying? It's a problem that the mozzarella is black? What, you, you prefer white mozzarella? Yes. Yes, I would. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this would be reflected in the tip. You never pay for the bill. For the tip, I have 20 cents. <laughs> this episode of The Fan Base is brought to you by Ugly Burgers. For those times when you've been drinking all night and you get desperate to score, that ugly burger will do the trick to satisfy your stomach. <laughs> but if your friends ever ask about it, you just gotta deny it. I have my beer goggles on when I see ugly burgers. A lot went down this week in the NFL. Yeah, the Patriots did not cover the spread. Ray Rice was cut by the Ravens and then suspended indefinitely by Roger Goodell. Goodell claims that they asked for the tape, but the authorities never gave it to him. <laughs> Where there's smoke, there is fire. And Goodell is a liar with his pants on fire. Now, the word is that the cops did send it to him, and they even called the cops back to say they got it. Goodell will throw someone under the bus. Someone's gonna get run over by Jerome Bennis? Sounds like the destination is Concussion City. More like Scapegoat Island. I'm sure they'll be well compensated for taking the blame. But of course, they'll get the money from the player's pension fund. Dude, I am so curious. How in the hell does TMZ get all of these elevator videos? First, the Solange versus Jay-Z fight. Now this one. They do much better than that pay-per-view company. TMZ has more bribe money than the NFL. They sell lots of ad space to the Taylor Swift, Katy Perry throwdown, which is actually the new Biggie Tupac battle. TMZ has control over all the elevator cameras, so watch what you do in them. I know I can no longer have sex in there. <laughs> in your case, no more masturbating in there. We'll also see cops hiding out in the elevators in the Nakatomi building. That joke died hard. Not all is well in the Dirty South, as one of the Hawks owners, Bruce Levinson, sent out a racist email in 2012. Oh, that was so long ago, back when the iPhone was on number two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> I did. But seriously, he's trying to get a sucker like Steve Ballmer to buy him out. It is a possibility. Well, maybe Tim Cook of Apple will rival the Ballmer deal and buy the Hawks. They could become the IHawks. Well, maybe this would finally give the organization more than 47 fans. He may not be a fan of a lot of black people going to Hawks games, but he is a fan of Ray Rice making everyone forget about him. Hawks GM Danny Ferry is also in the same boat. In a scouting report, he said that Luau Dang has a little African in him, which means he's like Eddie Murphy in Coming to America, looking for love from an NBA team. In the face! In the face! Wow, you're still living in the 80s. With all these racist owners, it's good to know that Jerry Jones isn't racist at all. The man is colorblind. You know, he didn't even notice the sea of red Niners jerseys in the stands at the Cowboys home game. Because he only sees green and bathroom strippers. <laughs> That'll do it for this week's episode of The Fan Base. I'm gonna have to watch more highlights of Goodell skating around the truth. He should get a gold medal this time. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. Enjoy your Sunday tailgating. <laughs> <Run it. laughs>